This is a book of Revelation 11 and verse 11. It read, And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from the Most High entered into them, and they stood upon their feet, and a great fear fell upon them uh, which saw them. Verse 12, And they heard a great voice from heaven, saying unto them, Come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemy beheld them a all place in hand and glory to Yahweh Baha Hashem Yahweh Shai Baha Hashem Laka Hakadash and Abuhana to the head and the apostle of the Timason who do well a peace, blessing, and salutation to you, Akiam, who are pushing these truths to the four winds of the heaven and be on the forefront of this spiritual war to make sure Jerusalem is established as a praise here on the earth again. It is another lesson about. Our magnificent salvation, uh, uh, which is shortly to come, see, and as a whole uh, creation will witness it. Not only people, even animals, man, see, because in that day, as a spirit, we are by Hashem, we will be heavy on every creature. That's why the, the, the scripture tell you, you see, the creation uh, waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. Uh, the creation wait the day when the elect uh, will be crowned, you see, and that process is start when we ascend, you see, into them clouds, and that way the clouds, it goes into the chariot, man, the chariot of salvation, man, the chariot of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahushai. So in today's lesson, here, you want to get into the uh, technicality, man, of the scripture, you know, the scripture, uh, it is always a repetition, and through that repetition, we are able to learn a new thing. We are able to understand the different, you see, a, a twist and a turn when it comes to the scriptures, man. You might have, have been in this truth for 20 years, but when you listen to a breakdown, you learn something new. And that's, that's, that's how the Holy Spirit moves, man. The Spirit is like a wind. Uh, you won't know where it, it will take you, man. You see, that is a spirit, man. It was a Holy Spirit, man. You see, uh, like in uh, Revelation 11, 11, it is said after three days and a half, the spirit of life from the Most High entered into them. That spirit talking about the Holy Spirit, in which the Holy Spirit is an embodiment of the Scriptures, man. Uh, you see. Uh, which he represents our Lord Yahweh himself, man. You see, so uh, the technicality which I wanted to get into is uh, uh, on verse 12 uh, when it says, and their enemy beheld them. See, uh, who's the enemy? Man, is the enemy of the elect. See, for elders and apostles who have been in, in this truth for 30 plus years, they have in their histories, they have. They can, they, they can, they can, they can, they can, they can complete a whole not, notebook of names of people who offended them, man. Some, they don't even remember them, man, see. So how uh, will this enemy be held, them? Uh, let's say you, you, you are living, let's say, in, in California, you see. When you came to this truth, you were in California, and then you shifted it to New York, see. Uh, let's say seven years ago there was a dude in California when you were in a highway and by way or you were going about your business and he offended you knowing that you were a man of the Lord. Uh, seven years have passed and you have already forgotten about that dude because people forget. So how will this scripture be, be, be fulfilled? See, How will your enemies, see, let's say, uh, uh, you were, uh, say, in England, then you, you, you moved to America. How will the enemy, your enemy back in Indra, England, be able to be held you being delivered, uh, be able to be held you ascending to the cloud? See, how? Uh, prophecy must be fulfilled, man. You see? So, uh, getting to it, man, you see, the day... Uh, when the cloud will come, or, 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 or the chariot will come, let me see, let me see something before I speak. Uh, what, uh, 
Uh, say it is it is not one it is not seven it is one one seven uh, revelation one seven it is say behold behold he come with cloud and every, every eye shall see him and they yes of which he pierced him and all kingdom of the earth shall dwell because of him even so amen so uh, when you go to uh, to the book of Ezra 13 you will be able to see uh, the way the Lord is coming back. Uh, it's, uh, it will be uh, more glorious than the way uh, he went up to the heaven uh, after his resurrection. Uh, he is coming with more glory, man. He is coming like an angelic horse. See, and the scripture tells you the chariot which uh, he will be coming with, man. It is a father, a fathership as big as a mountain, man. And he will be standing on top of that chariot, man. You see, uh, let me uh, give you an example. See, uh, this will be another point. The first point is uh, we are talking about, uh, let's say you are enemy in England and you moved to America. To America. Uh, you have also enemy in England. You have en enemy in America. You have enemy everywhere. How will your enemy be able to be held you? Uh, while you're getting delivered. And another thing is, how shall we be coming with that gigantic ship, man? Uh, we don't know how big it is, man, but we can envision it because uh, the scripture teaches us to be visionary. Uh, see, that chariot will cover the whole planet, man, the father ship. So, uh, how shall we be standing on top? You see, the chariot is huge, man. If we were on the other side of the, let's say, how shall we be standing on, on, on the front of the chariot? If we were on the other side of the world, you won't be able to see the person who is standing in front because how shall is he's not as big as the chariot. You don't know how big he is, but how is, 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 is a person. He can't be as big as a chariot, so he will be standing on one part of the chariot. So how will the other people on the other side of the world be able to see him? There is something known as uh, uh, the hologram, man. Yes, everybody will be able to see how I man. That will be custom made, man. Very vivid. Even your enemy, man, going back to the relation, let me go really quick. Revelation 11, 11 and, 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 and 12, it says, And they hear the great voice from heaven saying unto them, And that voice will be coming uh, from Yahweh himself, man. Come up hither. And he will be calling his elect, man. And they will get beamed up. And as the process of the elect getting beamed up, the fathership won't do that, man. There is something known as the, the, the seraphim. As small child, you let's say that the fathership will be as big as the continent of Africa. You see, uh, when it uh, comes from the firmament, you see, it gets revealed like uh, when you watch the movie Independence Day, they, how that child would uh, get manifested, manifested on, on the lower atmosphere because we have the upper atmosphere and the lower atmosphere. The lower atmosphere is that, uh, is that when you, you look up. Uh, that what meet your eyes, that is, is, is the lower atmosphere, the upper atmosphere, that where you, you can't see. That's why when the, the satellite is there, you can't see it. You see, when the chariot get manifested, manifested on the lower atmosphere, and you see how big it is, there will be small chariot coming uh, out of that fathership. We call them seraphim. You see, let me, let me see. Seraphim. Uh -huh. Let me go to the blue letter Bible. Let me go to the blue letter Bible. I know it is in Isaiah. Isaiah somewhere. If I'm not mistaken. Isaiah Seraphim. Let me see. Seraphim. Mm -hmm. Don't quite remember if it is Seraphim. Let me see. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Let me see. 
Se... Serafim. Bien, c'est mieux. Selafim 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 Salake I am typing the correct name but it is not showing up Let me see Easy Think it is in Isaiah somewhere Isaiah and the Esau 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 he really think that you know Esau he says that he, the seraphim were angels man I see but he, that is not he, the entire truth it is on Isaiah Isaiah, Isaiah, Isaiah 60. See, I wanted to be sure. So let's go to Isaiah 60. See, Isaiah 60. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 60, 60 it say, Then he flew one of the seraphim unto me, having a live coal in his hand, which he had taken with the Tongue from off the altar. See, so this this is seraphim here, which is the scripture is talking about. It's talking about the small sheep. So the small sheep which uh, will be coming out of that big sheep. See, and as you see, as the one which will beam the elect up. See, so let me see something. Mm -hmm. Be with me. What I see. Mm. Here it is. Let me go to the bullet Bible again. So let's look who this lady it is a selafi sarafi sarafi See. the internet is kind of slow but it be with me easy a sarafi see sarafi to say out to the NFB because use it to say a serpent. Strong's H8314. Poison as a serpent. Saraf. 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 Majestic being with six wing human hand or voice in attendance upon God. You see. You see, so the Seraph. You see, it is like a serpent. Why like a serpent? Because when he, uh, you consider a serpent like a cobra, you see, they can actually fly. Uh, you see, a cobra can, uh, they use, they have very, very strong muscle. That's how uh, a serpent is able to fly. A serpent, they don't have wings. But you have serpent who fly from one tree to another. And uh, what they do is they have uh, very strong muscles. Uh, and they... Uh, compresses their body against the ground and they come with a certain momentum you see and that's what uh, this is Selafia uh, this is Selafia small ships uh, which get detached from the, the, the larger ship you see and that's where uh, 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 let's see let, let me see let me see uh, the book of Matthew Matthew 24 
me see the book of Matthew 24 let me see something let's see uh, 24 and 31 say and he shall send his angels a great sound of trumpet uh, you see come up his you see and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of the heaven to another so the elect will be gathered back to the fathership man uh, to reunite with our lord how shall he, man? how will they be gathered man through those the seraphim man As they will get detached from the leadership when they go uh, throughout the four corners of the sea together the elect and uh, you will have other chariots, man. Uh, let's say the chariot of Michael and his angels, the chariot. You see, so it will be it will be going down, man. You see, so when this process is, is, is happening, uh, all of this process is happening. How will your enemy in the midst of all of these chariots? How will your enemy be able to behold you? Uh, let you. Uh, uh, go back to our example. Let's say you, you were over there in England, then you move to America. How will the enemy of England be able to be held uh, when you are getting beam, beamed up in America, let's say in Atlanta or in, 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 in Dallas? How? You see. Actually, the, your enemy back in England, they will be able to see you. Somebody's getting beamed up, man. There is something known as, as a hologram, you see, and uh, when uh, a case in point, when you consider Esau's, what do you call again, uh, he call it is a project in Blue uh, Actually, Esau can show you uh, how they are learning in the atmosphere. Esau can show you serpent flying in the atmosphere. I think you have seen those videos. And uh, Esau actually can show you the, 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 the picture of Mary, uh, like that picture which was shown in the Middle East and the people started bowing down. That is the project Blueprint. That is a hologram. You see, even if your enemy are in England, man, you are in America, when you get beamed up, it will be a holographic dis disclosure to them. Let, let's, let me, let me, let me, holographic. DC holographic DC cross. Let me see if we can get something. See, it's actually it's, it's actually something, man. You see, it's like a film, man. You be seeing a film. See. You will be seeing like a film of somebody getting beamed up, and the salty, as soon as the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, salty will be running in your head, and they will be remembering, remembering I did this to this to, to this person, I did this to this person, I did this to this person. So that's how a, 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 a prophecy will be fulfilled. See, all our enemy will be able to be held as men when we get beamed up. Lord willing, we are, we are part of that number. You see, all of your enemy, man. And another example is, uh, let's say you are somewhere prophesizing the highway and the byway, uh, and a bug out pass by camp, man. You see, and he just is cough. He don't know you. <laughs> you see, that person, he don't know you. You see, and then... Uh, that is a holographic disclosure like there. You see, uh, uh, let's say you are at camp, somebody he don't know you, you don't know him, and he starts scoffing, man, and he passed by. That is counted to be your enemy, man. <laughs> that enter into the hit list of your enemy. But how will he remember you? He just passed by camp two minutes, he don't know you, don't know him. You see, let's say it was seven years ago, don't remember you. Uh, but when you get beamed up, man, that individual, uh, he will be made to remember. And he will see you getting beamed up uh, through a holographic dis disclosure. See? Through a hol holographic disclosure. 
See, your enemy will be able to see you. Our enemy, all our enemy will be able to see you. And another thing is, see, another thing is, uh, uh, when he, uh, yeah, how shall I come uh, in that big chariot, man? See, uh, let me see uh, that big chariot. You see. Everybody will be, every eye shall see him, every eye shall see him, you see. Every eye shall see him. Uh -huh. Back to Revelation 1 7, say, Behold, he comes with cloudy, and every eye shall see him, you see. So back to our example, let's say the chariot is bigger as the continent of America, you see, and he will be standing in the front of there, and he... He have a stature of a normal person, Yahweh. He's not as big as a child, but he have a normal stature of, of a normal person. You see, let's say the, 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 the child will come from the east to the west. You see, so how will the people of the east, when the child is already on the west, how are the people of the east still be able to see Yahweh? You see, even the child is big as this is, how will they able be able to see him? You see, and uh, uh, let's say the chariot is as big as this yes, and uh, Yahawasha is standing on one end of the chariot. You see, on the other end of the S. And that one end of the chariot is on the west. How will the person on the east be able to see Yahawasha who is standing on the on the other side of the chariot? Through holographic disclosure, man. See, and everybody, and that day they want to be asking, is this the sun? Even, even somebody, you see, you have people who lead, you have a lot of people. You have a large number of people who live of, of greed. And you have Israelites who live somewhere in the bushes, somewhere as, where there is no internet, there is no nothing. You have those kind of people. The people who lead, live of greed, the people who live, no internet, the people who live without lady or television they just live they're just there and the majority of them are Israelite man even here in Africa people who live of greed they they don't have a phone or anything how will they be able to know what is going on man you see information will be downloaded in their mind their mind and they will know this is a son of man that's why the scripture tell you every every knee you see, every knee. How is that? How do how do you think that will happen, man? Hmm. This is Roman fourteen and eleven. Say for it is written, as I live, says the Lord, every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall confess to the Most High, man. When they see that glory, when uh, uh, the Lord coming with man, even the biggest uh, atheist man, <laughs> and that day he will be bow, he'll bow down, because uh, every Creature here on earth have been created by Yahweh, uh, Yahweh uh, Shai. And everybody here on earth have information stored in their, in, their, in their mind. That information will be downloaded, and everybody will be in their light mind in that day. Especially for, 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 for the army which will go against Yahweh Shai, man, the elite in, in the army. You see, the Lord will put in a spirit to fight against, uh, against him. But still, they will, they will still know that this is the son of man, but they will, they, 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 they will fight. You see, so there is something known as a hologram. Hologram, hologram. It is in the scripture. Hologram. Hologram. See? Holo. Let me see. Hologram. It was the hollow. Is it hollow hologram? Hologram. 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 Let me do it like this. What's going on here? I didn't prepare the lesson, so that's why I'm getting a hard time. Mm. 
this way with me. Let me see. Bear with me for a second. Hmm. Somewhere in Matthew. So this is Matthew 17. I will start at verse 1. It says, And after six days, Yahweh shall take his Peter, James, and John, his brother, and bring them up into a high mountain apart. And they was transfigured before them, and his face did shine as the sun, and his raiment was as white as the snow. So that transfiguration there is like a hologram. There is many aspects of you being transfigured. You can be transfigured and everybody here on the planet Earth can see you above the, the earth is the atmosphere, man. You see. And behold there appeared unto, unto to them Moses and Elias talking with him. Uh, but we know uh, Moses is Moses is, is is Peter in reincarnation and Elias was John the Baptist. How then Moses and Elias appeared? That's, that's, that is the part Christian don't understand. See, because that was not the actual Moses and Elias. That was a transfiguration. See, let's say when Yahweh comes, some people will be able to see Yahweh through a transfiguration. Your enemy will be able to be held you through a transfiguration. That is, does not mean it is the actual you. See, that's as the wonders of Yahweh Hashem. That's how far... A great as the Lord is, man. Let's, let me finish with the wisdom of Solomon 5, man. Wisdom of Solomon 5, when you it says, Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such have afflicted him and made no account of his labor. When they shall see, they shall see it, they shall be troubled, still above fear, and they shall be a mother at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all they, they have looked for. So they will see, man, is this elite? They live somewhere in New Zealand over there. How will be, they be able to see us being getting beamed up in America through so transfiguration, man? And they will be able to understand in their mind this is somebody getting beamed up, man. You see? And they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall save themselves. This was he. Uh, does the lost, lost, lost child know you personally? No. But this scripture, it is talking like they know you personally, man. In that day, uh, 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 information will be downloaded in their mind, man, and the salt will be going on in their head. And the salt will make them re re repent and groan, man. This was he whom we have sometimes in derision and the proverb of reproach. We fool encountered his life madness and his end to be without Yana. How is he numbered among the children of the Most High, man? the elect, uh, which will get beamed up before everybody here on earth, man. Basically, it's not only your enemy who offended you, man. Before everybody, man. You see, the, the majority of the elector in America, but even the people in the Middle East will be able to see that process, man, of, of us getting beamed up. Even Ishmael, man, even the people in Iran, through what? Through the hologram, man. Through transfiguration, man. And the Hawashai, everybody here on the planet S will be able to see Hawashai coming, man. Yahweh is standing on top of that chariot, man. Everybody, man, through what? Through transfiguration. Some will see him as, some will, whether he will be standing, some will see him as that, some will see him through transfiguration, man. And everybody here on the planet, he will, he will hear that voice 
come up with his you see it's come up his man you see that, that that voice it won't be a secret like that like is the christian they tell you only those who have repented they will be able to hear that voice and they will disappear no it will be a glorious day so everybody will will, will hear that majestic voice man of a pure negro from the tribe of Judah, man. Our Lord and Savior, how are you, man? So it's this I say, Shalom. I hope you brothers were edified. I want to finish by giving all of the praise and the glory to you. Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Baha Hashem, Laka HaKadash. And Abuhana to the elder and apostle who gave me so the peace, bless, and salutation to you, Akiyam, who are pushing this truth to the four winds of the heaven, be on the forefront of this spiritual, to make sure Jerusalem is established as a praise here on the earth again. Shalom, on to the next.